we're gonna re remove one of the Quadraflow packages. And this is one of the larger ones that you might see. And Edson makes all different size uh, packages, as you can see from very large to very, very small. I put kind of our largest and our smallest here. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but you can see that all the different sizes in between that. Uh, Edson can make those and we can make custom sizes too. But for this application, I'm gonna use our LT460 tip. And so I'll show you how we can put that on. This is a little retaining nut that comes with the tip. So you just put it in the little tool that Edson provides with every station. And there's a little hole in the middle of the quadrifo tip, so you're just gonna put that in there. And then very easily, you just screw your quadrifo tip in, just, just finger tight, don't get too excited about that. And then we will be able to turn our air on And once again, we're at about eight PSI, but I'm gonna turn this up to about 12 PSI, maybe 13. Um, the larger the tip, the more air that's coming out, you wanna apply a little more air pressure. We can also adjust our temperature up a little bit. We're at 650 right now on the air side. We're at about 750 at the air side, so we'll go to about 800, okay? And then quite easily, you just put the tip right on top of the package. And what I like to do is just do a little back and forth movement until you start feeling the package move. Left and right. And we remove it quite easily with our suction cup. And then we put it back on the holder. Okay, so now that we have our shim blade ready, I've installed a fan tip. This one is LT436, it's a popular one. And as you can see, the air is being directed through a one solid line here. There's no pinched area, so there's no dual flow. So this is really nice if you have components that are a consistent side size on one side and so I'll just show you how to use this tip and the shim tool to remove this package right here so we're gonna take our tool and we're at about 8 psi for this operation so you just go straight over your leads and we're just gonna get our little shim tool under there as we start to feel it move we'll glide it under there The nice thing with this is that you're heating this whole area. So this whole side's gonna come up pretty quick as you can see. Once it starts reflowing, uh, you can put your shim tool right under there. Now we'll work on the other side. Okay, get our shim tool under there. And this one usually flows a little bit faster once the other side goes. And as you can see, it popped right off. 